Hey, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and today, man, I have a special treat for you all. I'm going to be showing you my top stats series that I'm bringing over to Call of Dragons, and today we're going to be showing you the four kingdoms currently and where they rank, along with some data from them, and then we're also going to be showing you the top 25 alliances in the game right now from those four kingdoms. This is something I ended up doing in Infinity Kingdom while I was playing, and I thought it would be awesome to kind of port it over to COD. So a couple other categories we're going to cover in future videos is going to be personal power, personal merits, Alliance Merits, Hall 25s, RSS Gathered, and Dragon Trail. Now, I may eventually add more to these or maybe do some modifications, but I thought this would be really cool to kind of show off game-wide stats across all of the current kingdoms. I think it's awesome when you can have someone that takes time to kind of share these bits of data and pieces of information because I think even if you play in one kingdom and only in one kingdom, you're still curious on, you know, how does your kingdom stack up? How do you stack up? How does your alliance stack up, right, globally? Um, or maybe what's just the state of affairs in the game, right, across all the kingdoms? So kind of more of like a news outlet -ish -y ranking leaderboard globally for the game, I guess is how you could look at it. Uh, but just a few things to note. One is that bear in mind for most of these categories, uh, depending on how kind of top sacked your kingdom is, depending on how you're distributing uh, behemoths and etc., will factor into you know a portion of how strong or how powerful right an alliance, a player, uh, or a kingdom right may be. With that in mind. Let's go ahead and dive in, uh, of course, right before. If you enjoy the content, make sure you sub, like, ring the notification bell, and if you want to join and be a part of our conversation, hit up the Discord. You can find a link to that in the pinned comment description right down below. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be starting with uh, server rankings. And this is pretty standard for how you'd expect, right? It kind of just is going top down, one, two, three, four, right? Not really a lot there, which is to be expected. But what's interesting to note here is that, uh, right, because... Two, three, and four pretty much came out, I think, within a day to two of each other. And server one obviously has been up for a while. You can see here total power, right? 3.56 bill, uh, right? 2.25, 1.72, 1.58 here, right? So you can see three and four very close in power. Uh, two, which is where uh, I'm at and our alliance is at. Now, right, a little bit of a breakaway here, right, where you're seeing, what is that, 450, 470, so to speak. And, or gosh, do I have that right? Yeah, I have that right. Do I have that right? 430? No, I think it's like 430. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? Five. No, 530. Yeah, so I guess it is there. Uh, and uh, from there, though, uh, you can see some of the strong alliances, right? Like, for example, the number one alliance in one, right, is already at 1.14 bill. Like, that's that's in massive. Uh, you have uh, the number seven alliances, right? Which is, and the reason why I, I'm I'm gauging kingdom strength from one through seven is because there's seven zone one regions. So the idea is is that if you're having one alliance that kind of breaks out in each region uh, prior to kind of going into zone two, right? That's a way that you can kind of look to gauge. Now you can also do it. Another way where you maybe take a certain amount of alliances, let's say you take five alliances, the top five, and then you divide that by the top 20, you can kind of look at how like distribution of, of power looks, where like the lower the number, I believe is how it works, where you're, you're kind of closer in the gap. However, I like to t typically do it this way. For example, when I did it in Rock and when I did it in, in IK, we looked at the top six. Um, I just think it's a little more appropriate to look at the top seven because you have seven zone one regions. Uh, and then here you can see the range for uh, what's the gap, essentially, right? What's the gap between one and two? Um, and you can see here, right, the lowest gap is actually in server three. The reason I like gauging gap is because I'm a big believer that if you have alliances that are closer in power, it just breeds better motivation, it breeds better engagement, it breeds more participation because players will feel as though, man, I, I'm, I'm happy to contribute, I'm happy to overinvest my resources because uh, our alliance can beat out any other alliance, right? That's kind of the type of atmosphere that I'm a big proponent of compared to having a wider range of, of distribution of power where you know, it's the same one or two alliances that are just winning uh, AVA events internally within your kingdom all the time. It doesn't really motivate players and other alliances nearly as much uh, to overinvest beyond just doing the bare minimum task rewards. 
Uh, so again, right, you can see here 160, 133, 252. Obviously, Kingdom 1 has the widest range, right, from 1 to 7 at uh, 1.03 bill. Uh, now we'll go ahead and take a look at alliances. And this is actually going to be a really nice full one. Got to get that agua. So here we go. This is this is pretty wild. So um, again, bubble position right now. And remember, right, uh, data was collected within a six-hour window on the 10th. Is uh, bubble position, we got unit Empire of Caltia um, at 198 there from server three. We got DWDC for Mafia, uh, 201 uh, from server two, coming in at 24, 23. We got uh, POS4, Pearl of the Orient, uh, at 203 from server four. We got the number 22 alliance, EXP, Escape, uh, 204 from server four. 1V, Empire, 1 Victory, uh, 207 from server two. We got PRGs, Paragoons, 213 from server three. Uh, number 19, uh, as we're into the top 20, is ROG Revolution of Garuda, 214 from Server 3. Number 18, I Squiggly, IS, Imperial Society, 221 from Server 3. Uh, Kunt, uh, the Cat Lovers, 223 from Server 4. MJ45, Mod Japahit, Japahit? I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering that, and I apologize. 241 for their power on Mills, and they're from Server 3. We got breaking into the top 15. Now, number 15, ATM Adam or a Tomb. 242 from Server 2. GRZ Empire's Grim Reapers uh, ranked 14. 263 from Server 2. We got Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Arise at the number 13 rank, 290 from Server 4. Number 12, uh, Pepo, People Power, 300, right, breaking it down to 300 mil. Server 3, at number 11, PKO2, Press OKS2, 308 from Server 2. We have now breaking into the top 10, uh, HON Honorary, 316 from Server 4. We got 4 BDN Forbidden. At the number 9 position at 332 mil from server 3. We got number 8, TA the Avengers, 347 mil from server 2. Uh, number 7, IMB Immortal Behinded, uh, 359 from server 1. We got Awu or Owo. Uh, Panda Hut, 422 mil from server 2. We got EMP Empire, 460 from server 2. And then rounding out our top 4 as Empire breaks into the top 5, right, we have all server 1 kingdoms, which is pretty, pretty standard. Uh, I, I would imagine at this point because the server one has just been open, you know, quite a while longer than two has. Uh, well, two, three, and four. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, number four, NOS, NOS, uh, Novus Ordo Seclorum, if that's right, 481 from server one. Number three, GRD Garuda, 520 mil from number one. Uh, PHL, now we're starting to see the gap widen here. PHL League of Light, 750 mil from server one. And then again, right, the first alliance to break a bill power. Uh, is King. Um, I don't know because they had a bunch of other characters, so I'm not sure exactly what that stands for, but they're at 1.18 billion if we're rounding uh, from server one. So really cool to kind of see some of the early stats, and you can see the range here as well, right? It's almost a bill in power, right? You're 20, 19 mil off of it being a bill in power between the strongest alliance versus the uh, number 25 bubble position alliance. So I thought this was really cool just to kind of show off. Uh, again, uh, we will be covering more of other leaderboards and things that we'll be releasing. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I, I love pulling data. I love, you know, I, I always make Scott accounts in every kingdom, especially when I started off playing IK and just kind of keeping up. I'm going to have, I think, almost 165, 170 accounts there um, out of their a little less than 200 kingdoms so hoping that i'll be able to do the same thing here and, and just keep up with it uh, a little easier because it actually doesn't take that long to level accounts <laughs> in god so far which is nice at least to, to getting it to the point of where you need to get it to uh, but uh, with that in mind right that's it I, i'd love to hear your comments your thoughts on this um, if there's any other types of, of data you guys would like to see as well um, right i'm always kind of thinking and, and trying to be as creative as possible when it comes to presenting you guys with you know good quality content and information things that are not necessarily readily shown um, in in such ways uh, so again I'm, I'm always happy to, to cover and do things like this all right that is it for me so as always until next time i'll catch you later